Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome to Barely Making It, and today we're going to be assembling one of my favorite characters from X-Men, Phoenix. Let's hop right into it. I want to start cleaning these parts up, getting all the, the rafts and supports and all that jazz taken off here. Now I want to go ahead and sand with some 600 grit sandpaper. I'm going to be doing wet sanding. Let's go ahead and lay down some newspaper. I'm going to start with the arms.
so I'm going to take all these down to my garage and paint them. I will not be recording that part because my garage is very dimly lit and it's pointless. You'll barely see what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go downstairs and spray paint this, but I'll at least show you guys what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this right here. So the 201 on primer and filler and a sandable too. And the reason I'm not sanding this part right here is because during the print process, some of the parts came out a little brittle and I'm a little concerned about sanding it. Like it might snap, like the, the tips of the flames. Um, and it could just be like not necessarily the printer, just part of the design because I mean they are fragile, but I don't want to take any chances because I've already snapped off a couple and had to re-glue if you saw that during the video process. And I don't want to snap off anything else. Like look at this one. Oh my goodness. All right. So we're gonna make our way downstairs, gonna paint, we're gonna come back with a nice fresh coat and then we're gonna hand paint the details. All right, let's hop to it. All right, we have everything print, um, printed, primed, and filled, and sanded, and all that good stuff. Now what I wanna do is actually start hand painting these parts. Good old fashioned wood brushes, and some testers model paint, all right? But I'm gonna start and I'm gonna paint these individually because I'm gonna have a hard time working within these flames trying to paint the stuff, so I'd rather have everything out of the way, then put it together last. I know a lot of figures you see people do, of course they do it first and blah, 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 but I'm gonna do it that way, all right? And I'm hoping to fix some of the issues, some of this detailing issues on the flame and stuff while I'm at it, and some of these holes that I could not fill in um, with the painter, with the filler primer. Let's just hop right into this. Move this up.
lost footage in the middle of me recording me painting her hair and me painting the fire on here so unfortunately we missed that part guys so I'm very sorry I'm just gonna hop right back into this start assembling. Oh man, I don't want to print this over. See how hard it is to get these in there. Got a hair on her back. God bless him. Sure, gonna need to use Insta Set. Oh, yeah. I just have to repaint that. Man, look at that. Alright 
Alright folks, this is it. The com complete Jean Grey Phoenix built and painted. How awesome is that? That's so... This came out so great. It took a long time. A lot of sanding, a lot of painting, all that stuff, but I'm super happy with it, guys. And I'll include the link in the description below, guys, from Thingiverse, at where you can download for you can so you can download this yourself and do something similar or the exact same thing, guys. So remember, all I did was print it, sand it with 600 um, grit paper, use um, paint primer filler, filler, paint primer filler. And then the rest of this is all painted using good old fashioned testers model paint. Let's back a little bit. It's gonna keep spinning so you guys can get a good look at the whole thing. Man. I said guys, super happy with this build. Um, thanks for sticking through the entire video, guys. If you like videos like this, please give me a like, please subscribe. I'm gonna do a lot more content like this on this channel, guys. Other than that, guys, that is it. As always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.